It's simulation time. I'm Alex Marchand, author and artist of The Universe is Virtual. Today's subject, pieces of evidence from physics that support virtualism, that we live in some kind of simulation. Number one, the universe began. Since all the stars and galaxies are receding from us at known rates, we can calculate back to conclude that our universe started up about 14 billion years ago. This first event began not only our universe but also its space and time, yet a complete physical universe can't begin as by definition there is nothing outside itself to create it. To create itself it would have to exist before it began, which is impossible. Physics speculates on deep brains, wormholes, alternate universes, teleporting worlds, and Big Bang oscillation theories, but every virtual reality has a boot-up that creates its space-time operating system based on nothing within itself. Number two, there is a maximum speed. In our world, nothing can travel faster than light. So a light from a spaceship moving at almost the speed of light still leaves the ship at the speed of light. This is not possible in an objective reality. Einstein proved that the speed of light is a maximum, but gave no reason for it to be so. The equations work, but they don't explain why. In contrast, a photon as a screen pixel can only move from point to point as fast as the screen refresh rate allows. In a virtual reality, the screen cycle rates define a maximum pixel transfer speed across a screen. Number three, time and space are quantized. At the quantum level, everything is quantized, including time and space. Field theory needs continuity but avoids the infinities it implies by a mathematical trick called renormalization. We pretend our world has no gaps, but actually Planck length and Planck time are the irreducible pixels and cycles of our reality, as expected in a virtual reality. Number four, quantum tunneling. Quantum tunneling occurs when an electron suddenly appears outside a field barrier it can't pass through, like a coin in a perfectly sealed glass bottle suddenly appearing outside it. Computer chips have been reaching scale limit issues due to quantum tunneling. Transistors less than 7 nanometers become so close together that they have to contend with electrons quantum tunneling. That quantum theory permits quantum tunneling in no way explains how a supposedly physical thing can move to where no intervening path is possible. In contrast, a virtual reality can easily cut between one frame and another. Number 5. Entanglement Entangled photons maintain opposite spins no matter how far apart they are, but an objective reality limited by the speed of light can't do this. Einstein called this spooky action at a distance. In contrast, a program can easily change any pixel anywhere on a screen instantly. In this view, all points on the screen of our universe are equidistant to a quantum server. Number 6. Space Curves According to Einstein, the Sun keeps the Earth in orbit by curving the space around it, but what can space curve into? It needs another dimension to do this. But string theory's curled up extra dimensions don't allow this. In a virtual reality, space as a 3D surface can easily curve into a fourth dimension. Number 7. Time dilates. In Einstein's twin paradox, one twin who travels the universe for a year then returns to find his brother on Earth to be an old man of 80. Relativity tells us that in our world time slows down when traveling at high speeds. Time also slows down as mass increases, and it just so happens that mass increases with speed. In an objective world, time doesn't vary like that, but in our world it does. Yet every gamer knows that when the computer is busy, the frame rate drops, giving a slow motion screen. In other words, game time slows down when the server is busy. 
Rendering fast-moving mass is a resource hog. Hog resources too much, and you risk crashing the computer. Which brings us to number eight, black holes. General relativity predicts that a large enough mass in a small enough space collapses to a point of infinite density called a singularity. This defines a black hole, but in physics, an infinite value usually indicates that something is wrong. In contrast, in a virtual reality, a black hole merely represents the bandwidth of space, so there is no singularity. A black hole is thus a place where the bandwidth has been maximized, leading to something akin to a crash. Perhaps black holes are like the blue screen of death familiar to most Windows users. Number 9. Randomness In our world, radioactive atoms emit alpha particles randomly. That is to say, in a way that no prior physical story can explain which implies a cause beyond physicality. The many worlds fantasy of a multiverse was invented solely to deny quantum randomness. In contrast, in a virtual reality, quantum randomness can be attributed to quantum server choices. Number 10. Empty space is not empty. An objective space should be a void, but our space exerts a pressure. In the Kashmir effect, flat plates close together in a vacuum experience a force pushing them in. Current physics has to explain this by inventing virtual particles. But in a virtual reality, space is something, not nothing, giving a simpler explanation. Number 11. Waves are particles. In the famous double slit experiment, a particle goes through two slits to interfere with itself and give an interference pattern, even though it always arrives at one screen point. A particle can't do this, but a processing wave can interfere with itself like a wave and still reboot at a point to arrive like a particle in one place. Number 12. Quantum Superposition in quantum theory, currents can simultaneously flow both ways around a superconducting ring. This isn't physically possible, so in current physics, quantum states don't exist. In a virtual reality, quantum processing can divide to explore all possible options. Number 13. Non-Physical Detection Imagine a bomb so sensitive that even one photon would set it off. It should be impossible to detect without setting it off, but a Mach Zender interferometer does just that. Current physics has to attribute this to quantum acts it says don't occur, but in a virtual reality, they do. Number 14. Retrospective Action if the future can affect the past, causality fails and with it physics. Yet, in delayed choice experiments, an observation made after a photon takes a path defines the path it took before the observation. This has led some to speculate that all time, like all space, already exists, allowing time travel and all the paradoxes it implies. In a virtual reality, processing can spread to take all paths until an observation picks a physical event. Number 15. Antimatter exists. Quantum equations predicted antimatter, but no reason has ever been given why matter should have an inverse of the same mass but opposite charge. In contrast, Matter created by processing inevitably implies antimatter created by anti-processing. And that's it. 15 pieces of evidence that show we are living in a virtual reality, a simulation. None of these 15 findings are physically expected, so they don't support physical realism. Since the facts of physics deny physical realism, it's time to face up to virtualism. 
Don't be a non-player character, like this video and subscribe. Finally, check out the link in the description below to purchase The Universe is Virtual, where I reveal my proposed hack for escaping the simulation sooner rather than later.